if there's anyone here that have any testimonies this morning that you might want to share, or just, just being a witness. Because people don't know what you've gone through, what you're going through. But not only that, you have those who go, of course, who are virtual. You don't know what they're going through. We're overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So anyone here who's able to share a testimony with somebody in virtual could be going through the same thing. But it's your word that can give them that assurance, that, that, that strength of knowing everything will be okay. This week kind of came in. I found out through my friend got COVID-19. But I praise God that it's doing fine. I went and got tested. I'm, I'm negative. I thank you, praise God, because he's a healer. Yes, he's he is. A yes, he is. He's all that I need in my life. That's right. I thank you, praise God, for, my, for protecting me on the dangerous streets and highway. Oh, my I thank God. You, praise God. For food, clothes, shelter. Yes, I yes. I thank you for my mind. I thank you for my kids. I thank you for my sister and my brother. I thank you for my church family. I thank you for all things. Pray for me. I pray for you. Yes. Amen. 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 I was reading something yesterday, and I was I was reading. I guess it was a minister or someone. I was reading uh, something was saying, and so oftentimes we think of the big things. You know, we think of the big things. This is what we thank God for. But like if she was saying that it's the little things. This is the little things we try to forget. We just overlook. Because there's some people who, who don't even have food. But yet, just that little thing. You know, God makes a way out of that no way. And, you know, if you, you just have little, like I said, you, can, you can't even find no food. But you open up the refrigerator. And then all of a sudden, the Lord will just give you give you a vision how to take the little thing, how to take the bread and the flour and how to take the shortening or, or the butter, whatever you can, and the salt. And you can make some biscuits with that joker. And if you got some jelly, oh, you be kicking it. So, you know, so, so much stuff that God has provided for us, we take for granted the little things, but he blesses us with the little and can make that little thing go bigger and stretch it. And even he's a God that can heal and restore. So it's the little things we think of to just thank God for what he's done, what he is about to do. That's why I said we praise him in the midst of our storms. Praise God because he's right there with you. Anyone else to have a, a testimony, a word of encouragement to share with someone? Because someone, even on virtual, is listening to your testimony. And your words are encouraging them. If there's anyone else. Amen. Amen. We now going to take this time for prayer and following the prayer, the scripture reading of Psalms 100 by Brother Ronnell Adams. Amen. Yes. Dear God, we just come before you again just to say thank you. Father, you didn't have to wake us up, but you did. Your grace and your mercy brought us through. We thank you for watching over us, oh Lord, even in the midnight hour. Lord, we thank you for being with our children, our grandchildren, and our children's children. Thank you, Father, for those who are working in the midnight hour in the hospital. Those, oh God, who is waking up early in the morning and have to come and, and look over your people, oh God. We thank you for being the God of strength, oh Father, and the God of protection. As we come and continue to worship you, Lord, Come into this place. You're already here. Fill every space, oh God. Touch every heart from heart to heart and breast to breast, oh God. Quicken our spirit. Bring light, oh God, into things that the adversary is trying to attack. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We claim victory over the enemy and everything he's trying. Devil, you the liar, and we command right now, you leave this place. Jesus' name, and we call victory through, O oh Lord, all you have given us. Move, O oh God, from the position to the pulpit to the door. O oh God, we thank you right now. Touch someone who even listening virtually, O oh Lord. You know what's in their heart. You know what's on their heart, Lord. Teach them, O oh God. Show them, O oh Lord. Open up your word and let it dwell in their heart. O oh Lord, we also lift up the preacher of an hour, God, that you be with her from the top of her head to the bottom of her foot, oh Lord. Speak to her, oh Lord. Let her be your mouthpiece. Put, oh Lord, in her spirit what you desire for 
her to speak to your people. We thank you, Father, right now for this worship time, this worship service. We worship you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Father, right now. Amen. Amen.
now I have the proclamation of the word of God by not other than our sister here in Christ, Minister Sherry Emerson, that's going to bring forth the word. Put the coals on my lips. Mm -hmm. 
used to large gatherings and the, the traveling back and forth and the Black Friday shopping and all of that stuff has changed. Mm. We could never imagine that we would be living in such a time as this. Mm. But God has a plan. That's right. And there is no limit with God. The word for today will be coming from Jeremiah 29, verses 4 through 14. Those that are able to stand in the sanctuary for the reading of God's word, please stand. Jeremiah 29, 4 through 14. And I will be reading from the NIV version. This is what the Lord Almighty the God of Israel says to all those I carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon, build houses and settle down, plant gardens and eat, they, they produce, marry and have sons and daughters, find wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage so, they, so that they too may have sons and daughters. Increase the number there, do not decrease. Also, seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Mm -hmm. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Yes. yes, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Mm -hmm. Do not let the prophets and diviners among you deceive you. Do not listen to the dreams you encourage them to have. Mm -hmm. They are prophesying lies to you in my name. Mm -hmm. I have not sent them, declares the Lord. Mm. This is what the Lord says. When 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my gracious promise to bring you back to this place. For I know the plans I have for you, declares yes. the Lord. Yes. Plans to prosper you yes. and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope yes. and a future. Yes. Then you will call upon me. And come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. Yes. You will seek me and find me, yes. and you will seek me with yes. all your heart. Yes. I will be found by you, declares yes. the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. Ooh. Amen. 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 See, in 
new normal, God is still sovereign and he is still in control. The wicked may appear to win, hallelujah, but when this crisis ends and we don't know, and sometimes it's going to break us and to build us back up again, but the breaking is both personal and universal. This new normal. God is still God. Yes, he is. He is still sovereign. Yes. He's all-knowing. Yes. He's all-seeing. Yes. And he's all-wise. Yes. So if he brings you to it, hmm. he will bring you through it. Amen. Amen. But Jeremiah had two assignments. He told them about the destruction but he also told them about the restoration in the end. And see, there will be restoration for us in the end. So the question now is how do we live? How do we keep our mind right while we are in this strange times? How do we remain positive and thankful? You see, Jeremiah's word does prepare us for situations like this. It's preparing us for life. Because this is a situation going on now. Mm -hmm. Who's to say it won't be another one? And That's another right. one, and another yeah. one, and another one. That's right. God That's is right. still sovereign. That's he right. is still mm -hmm. in control. That's right. That's right. And you may feel like you're in a prison and you can't escape. Mm -hmm. The prisons of being in de being depressed. Mm -hmm. The prison of anger. The prisons of sadness. The prison of loneliness. Go to God's word. His word does not change. It was true back then and relevant back then. Yes. It's true today That's and right. relevant today. That's right. So however you're listening today, rely on the word of yes. God. Yes. Stand on the promises mm -hmm. that he has given unto us because God is not like man. He cannot lie. He will not have his word return void. Amen? Amen. Amen. Jeremiah told them to live and to marry and to plant farms and grow. Yes. So don't you stop growing. Don't you Amen. stop living. Amen. You live to your life to the fullest as best as you can for you and yours. Yes. yes. Build your house. Yes. yes. Plant yes. your garden. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Keep your families yes. together. Yes. Keep living even though you may feel like you are limited, but yes. you are not limited yes. in God. Yes. I heard the other day that fear is your un. 
belief in God. Whose report are you going to believe? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. And if you're in pain, there's another quote that I read the other day. It says that pain makes you pray. Hallelujah. But prayer makes you powerful. Yes. Hallelujah. Pain may make you pray. But prayer will make you powerful. And I'm going to tell you, if you don't know for yourself, I know for me. Yes. But Pastor talks about being prostrate before the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. You feel more powerful. Yes. You feel that you are invincible because you know what? You have connected with the Lord God Almighty. Your spirit, hallelujah, has connected yes. with His spirit. And when you have the Holy Spirit on you, God had a plan. 
pain when he called Abraham and told him, I will make you a father of many nations. We are the inheritance. God had a plan when he called Moses to tell Moses to tell Pharaoh to let my people go and they left from slavery to freedom. God had a plan for Ruth and Naomi that they would be cared for and hallelujah in the lineage of Jesus Christ. God had a plan for David when he took down the life with one small stone. Hallelujah. God had a plan. For to us a child is born and to us a son of God is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called wonderful. Counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, and the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. God had a plan for Mary to bring the Savior into the world. God had a plan for the love of his people, Jesus Christ, who came down through 42 generations to say, come unto me all who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Jesus had a plan when he fed 5,000 with a few fish and a few loaves of bread. Hallelujah. That is provision. That is Jesus Christ because of Jesus Christ we are thankful every day. We serve a limitless God. That's he right. is everywhere right. and everything. He provided Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is the way to life everlasting. Yes. Jesus Christ is the now. He is the hope of the day and the hope for the future. Yes. Your future is a brand new day. That's yes. why we, we can trust because he gives us new mercies and new grace every day. Yes. Because when God is in it, hallelujah, there is no limit. Jeremiah 11 says, for I know the plans that I have for you. He plans to go plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Hallelujah. When there, when there is God, there is no limit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, this world is all twisted upside down. But you know what? It's all right. Because we know a God. Hallelujah. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. Y'all know if I could get from behind this podium, yes, I right. ain't walking yes. down the aisle. Because when God, hallelujah, there is no limit. He has every plan for you to give you a bright future and always hope. In Jesus' name, I pray and I thank you, oh Lord, for this opportunity. In Jesus' name, I pray. My soul says amen, amen, and amen. Lasting joy. 